G'day folks, it's Cortezarino, and welcome back to my Japanese castle base tutorial. And today we're doing part two. So in part one, this is where we left off. We'd done the base of the castle, we'd done the front gate, and we'd also done the storage room. And today we're going to be working on the main part of the castle, and I had hoped last episode that we might be able to get it built all the way to the very top, but I very much overestimated how much we could get done. Instead, by the end of this episode, we will have completed the entire first floor and begun work on the second floor. Now, this might seem like a whole lot, like just a few walls and stuff, but no, we have done the entire interior just minus the furniture, so all the rooms will be completely done and all the rooms will be lit up. So that's enough talking, let's get started. Now grab some bone blocks and right in the corner on top of the deep slate, we're going to place two, three, four, five, six. So go ahead and do that in all four corners. And now we're going to connect all our pillars. So we're going to start with a line of bone blocks there with snow blocks on top and you'll be coming out on this side as well so just go ahead build that all the way around okay now we're going to start building our walls now the front wall is different so don't do that one just yet but the other three walls the two sides in the back are all the same so you can build all of these at the same time so come along to the corner and what we're going to do is mark out where our windows are going to go so we're going to skip a block We'll do a bone block, two smooth quartz stairs, and another bone block, and then we'll skip a block, and we'll do the exact same thing, and we'll do the same from this side. So skip a block, we'll do bone, two stairs, bone, and then bone, two stairs, bone. Now the middle window is going to be three wide, so we'll put three stairs and a bone block in the middle. So now what you can do is go ahead and build all your bone blocks all the way to the top. And to build our windows, what you do is just above our stairs, you put two upside down smooth quartz stairs with dark oak fences in between. So just go ahead, do this for each of the windows. And then grab some dark oak buttons and we'll place one right there. And now we're just going to place them above our bone block pillars. So everywhere where there's a bone block connecting, go ahead, place a button and we'll place one on the end. And then in all of these leftover gaps, just fill that in with snow blocks. So that's a completed wall. Go ahead, build that on the other side and at the back. If you want to, you can pause the video here and copy it. And once you've done that, you can turn toward our front wall. And with bone blocks, we're going to place one, two, three, four, just in front of that end rod. And four right here. Now grab spruce stairs. We'll put two upside down. Spruce slab, and then on each side here, we're going to place three spruce trapdoors just to make a nice arch. And then each side of this doorway, we'll put three snow, and you can build that all the way up. So do it on that side, and three on this side. And then come to the outside, and what I build on this side is the same on the other side. So in the corner, we'll place four snow blocks, and then it's going to be bone two stairs, bone, two stairs, and bone. So just build your bone all the way up like so. Put in your upside down smooth stairs and your dark oak fence windows. Then get your buttons. We'll start with one in the corner and then just one above our bone blocks. And you can see just here there's another bone block. Place a button in there. So do that on both sides. Now come along to a corner and with stripped dark oak logs we'll go one, two, three, four, five, and we'll put a stone block on top. And we're going to build 12 of these in total. So everywhere where you can see a lapis block, build one of those pillars. Now look at your front door and with spruce slabs we're going to put five at that height right there. And then turn around, look at the back of the building, and what we're going to do is right here, we're going to build a matching pillar with our dark oak and stone. Now grab spruce stairs and placing them upside down at this height, 
we're just going to do a lap of the entire building. Except, of course, where we have our spruce slabs. Then, on top of our stairs, we're going to run a line of stripped dark oak all the way around. And then, starting on the stone block in the corner, we're going to run a line of stone across the top of everything we just built. Just like that. Now, come to the inside, and we're going to look at one of our corners. And coming out from that bit of stone there... And coming out from this one, we're going to use stripped dark oak logs. And where they connect, we're just going to place a stone block. And we're going to do that in every single corner. In this corner here, where we've got the double log, to start from the log on the right-hand side. So when you're done, you should be looking like this. Now look toward the back of the building. And underneath this stone block here, we're just going to run stone all the way to the ground. But underneath the other three stone blocks, we're going to run stripped dark oak logs. Okay, put yourself in the position I am, so you're looking toward the back of the building. Right here, we're going to run stripped dark oak logs all the way along. And we'll do the same right here. And then we'll also do it in between these two stone blocks. Now you can look over toward this stone pillar and we're going to skip one block and then place a stone block right there and then we'll run our dark oak along like so. Now you can turn toward the front of the building and we're going to run stripped dark oak logs just like that and then on this side we'll do the same thing but this time we're going to continue it all the way to the wall. So when you're done, you'll be looking like that. And now we're going to put in our staircase. So come over to where your front door is. And we're looking at those first two pillars. Just behind these, we're going to put two dark oak planks. And then one, two, three, four lines of snow blocks on each of these. So build them all the way up. Then grab spruce stairs. We'll put five upside down across there. And they will have four oak trapdoors just in front, like so. And then I want you to grab some stone blocks. And just here, we're going to put three of them like that. And we're going to do that three more times. And we're just going to build these up in a stair pattern. So we'll put a bunch of them like this. And like this. And a final one. So you can see what I'm building there. Then you can come back to this side and we're going to place oak stairs. So one line, two, three, four, and five. Okay, come around behind our staircase and just against that bottom stone, we'll place a dark oak plank and then knock out those two blocks and place in sea lanterns. Then put your back to the stone and we'll put dark oak trapdoors and flick them up. And then above that, we'll do three snow and we'll do that three more times and then you could come back to the top of your stairs and we'll continue with one two lines of our oak stairs just behind this one we'll put smooth sandstone blocks so that's the one with the nice texture underneath and you can finish with another line of stairs on top okay come around to the right hand side right here and we'll put two dark oak planks and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight snow blocks on top. Then against this stone, we'll put more stone. So one, two, three stone. Just in here, we'll go one, two, three, four stone. And then next to that, we'll do a pillar of five stone blocks. So if you were to look at that wall from the staircase here, you can see where we need one, two, three snow blocks like that. Now you can come back around to this wall with dark oak planks. We'll go one in that corner, one in that corner, and then we're gonna do a big horse shoe of snow blocks, just connecting those. And then in this corner here, we'll put our dark oak planks and then four snow on top. And we'll do the exact same thing right here next to this trap door. Now come along to this wall, we can just put a line of stone along the bottom. And then for simplicity, we might just fill this gap up with snow blocks. So do that all the way along. Now just in here, we're going to knock out these blocks and place in sea lanterns. You can put your back to the wall and we're going to place in dark oak trapdoors and flick them all up. 
And then we're just going to grab snow and we're going to fill in this wall just like that. Okay, come around to the back of our stairs and where we've got this pillar of stone, we're going to run dark oak planks all the way along the bottom. And then on top of that, we're just going to fill in the rest of the wall with snow blocks. So when you're done, you should be looking like that. And now you can come back to our staircase and just on the left here, we're going to place a dark oak plank. And over here we're going to place three and then just on top of our planks we're going to build the wall all the way up with snow blocks and then we'll put a single line of snow across the top. Now with oak trapdoors hold shift and we'll place eight of them in here and you can flick all of those up and on this side we're just going to place four of them and then come to the opposite side and just against our trapdoors we're going to place birch trapdoors and flick them all down like so. And once you've done that, turn to your right where we've got this pillar here. Look in this direction and we're going to place 10 oak trapdoors. Flick them all up and then on the opposite side we're going to place birch trapdoors against them. Just like that. So now come back out to our stairs and we're going to come along to this line of stone. We'll put two dark oak planks and another two on that side. We'll build the wall all the way up with snow blocks and then just across the top we'll put a single line of snow. Then holding shift right here we'll put eight, eight oak trapdoors. Four on this side, flick them all up and you know what to do. Go to the opposite side and put in your birch trapdoors. And then you can come into this room, turn to your left and just over here we're going to put two dark oak planks and build the wall up with snow and then we'll just run a single line across the top. And staying on this wall we're going to run spruce slabs all the way along here and then turn the corner and run them along to that wall. Now look back at this wall here. We're going to count in one, two, three, four, five spruce slabs and we're just going to place a temporary block next to that slab We'll put a spruce fence gate, then you can break that. Now on each side of the fence gate, we're going to place spruce fences. The fences will have spruce planks on top. And then underneath, we're going to hang two chains and two lanterns. We're just going to light up this area before we put a ceiling on, so no mobs will spawn in here. Okay, now we're going to look out this door, and we're just going to count one, two, three blocks right here. We'll break that and we'll break the three next to it and we'll just place in four sea lanterns like that and then in this direction we'll knock out one two three four and place in sea lanterns and then we'll just turn this into a rectangle and if you want to you can break those blocks and replace them with stone just to save some wood and then i want you to look up to the right just above this alcove and we're going to place spruce slabs along there and we'll just continue them all the way along like so. Then turn 180 degrees and we'll do the exact same thing on this side of the room. Just run your spruce slabs all the way over like so. And now I want you to look at this wall right here. So our sea lanterns are just on your left. Just above the snow against those slabs right there in the middle. We'll place two temporary blocks with our spruce fence gate against it. And you can break those. Each side we're going to do a spruce fence with spruce planks on top, chains underneath and then we'll hang our lanterns. And now you can turn to face your front door and counting from this pillar here we're going to skip three blocks, then knock out three and place in sea lanterns. Same thing from this pillar, skip three, then knock out three and put in your sea lanterns and then you can just connect them in a big rectangle like so and then you can remove the blocks in the middle and place in stone. Now turn to face this wall and look at that line of snow blocks right in the middle. Keep yourself lined up with that and we're going to knock out that block right there with those each side and these three and you can just place in sea lanterns like so. And then we can go through this doorway and right here we're going to knock out six blocks and you can put in sea lanterns. Now counting from this pillar over here, we're going to skip two blocks and then knock out one, two, three, four. 
and we'll do that two more times just next to it. You can put in a rectangle of sea lanterns with two stone blocks in the middle. And we're going to cover up all of these sea lanterns with carpet. So for this one we just built, we're using lime green and green carpet. And for this other small one over here, the same colours. And the carpets in this room are pretty simple. We're just using cyan for the small one and red carpet for the big one. And then if we come over to this rug here, that is the pattern you want to do. That's just with grey and light grey carpet. Okay, now we're going to climb up our staircase and just next to the second stair from the top, so not up there, just down here, we're going to place a dark oak plank on each side and then add seven more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the same on this side, we'll place a stone block on the end. And in between the stone, we'll put three sea lanterns and then another three. And from this side, we're going to place oak trapdoors across all of those. Now we're just going to grab stone blocks and we're going to cover up all of the tops of these logs and slabs. So basically where we've got these slabs here, we're going to run stone all the way along. We'll run two along here and we just don't want to be able to see the stone from the bottom, but we want to add an extra level to all of these. So just go around adding stone on top of all of these cross beams. So when you're done, you should be looking like this. So go ahead and pause the video if you need to. And now we're just going to go ahead and fill in our ceiling. And this will be using the smooth sandstone blocks with the nice texture underneath. And we're just doing it against all these stone blocks we just placed. So we've already got some of the sandstone here. So you know exactly what height to put it in. Just go ahead and fill in the ceiling for each room. And that's how you should be looking when you're done. So now come to the front of the building and against that stone block, we're gonna place quartz stairs upside down and just run them all the way along and finish next to that bone block in the corner. So these are not the smooth stairs. These are just the regular quartz stairs. And we'll do the same thing from this side, finishing next to that bone block. Now for the other three walls, you want to find the dead center of the wall and place a quartz slab right there in the middle. And then from that, we're going to place our upside down quartz stairs. Once again, finishing next to the bone block. So do that on the other three walls. Okay, now come along to a corner and we're going to build this thing in all four corners. So you can see I've built it in the others. We will build this one together. So right in the corner, we'll place a smooth quartz slab this time. And then one, two, three deep slate tiles with an extra one on top. And then we'll just place a temporary one there and another and break that. We'll put an extra two there and an extra two right there. Then with deep slate tile blocks, we'll go one, two with a slab on top of that one. Behind that, we'll do two dark oak planks with a dark oak slab on the final one. So that's how you should be looking. Okay, so grab your deep slate tile slabs again, and just at this height here, so the top half of these stairs, we're just going to run a line of them all the way around the building. And once you've done that, we're going to come down to this height right here. So we're just down on the diagonal a little bit. And we're gonna run these along to the corners and finish right here. For these sides, we'll have to put some temporary blocks in and put in our slab there. And we're just going to run these around once again, finishing in that same spot in the corner like so. So do that on each side. OK, so we have been doing that all the way around, but now we're just going to work on the two side walls. So not the front and not the back. So we're going to begin with our deep slate tile slabs again, and we're just going to put a line of them on top of the upside down stairs. And just behind that, we're going to put a line of our deep slate tile blocks. And then just behind those, we're going to do the same thing, but this time we're using dark oak slabs and dark oak planks. Okay, now we're going to work at the front and the back walls. So what I build here, copy to the back wall as well. So right here, we're going to start with two dark oak slabs. 
then a deep slate tile, and then two stone blocks. And we'll do the exact same thing from this side. Two slabs, deep slate tile, then two stone. Now get your polished deep slate. Starting there, we're gonna place one every second block. And once you've done that, in between, we're gonna place deep slate tile blocks. Now, just behind this line, we're gonna start with two dark oak planks, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stone. And behind that, we'll run another line of stone and finish in the same spot. So same on this side, two dark oak planks, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stone, and then another one right behind it. So go ahead and build that at the front and the back, and then we're gonna come along to our side walls again, and just behind our dark oak planks, we're gonna do a line of stone, and behind that, a line of stripped oak logs. Okay, once you've built that on each side, come along to our very top stair, and just next to it on each side, we'll place a stripped dark oak log, then grab some stripped oak and we're going to run them from that wall down till they connect to our dark oak. We'll do the same thing right there. Then we'll switch to snow blocks. We'll do snow until we reach the sea lantern and we'll put a stone block next to that. Same thing here. Snow blocks, then a stone next to the sea lantern. And then we'll just continue with our stripped oak until we reach the end. So do that on each side here. And then we're just going to fill in the floor completely with our stripped oak. And we're going to do that in the opposite direction from the first lines we placed. So when you're done, you'll be looking like this. So now we're going to come along and build the two side walls. So not the front and the back, just the two sides. So starting on this stone in the corner, we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six bone blocks. And we'll do the same thing down in this corner. Now the second block from the top, we're going to place bone blocks and we're just going to run them all the way along until we connect. And on top of that, we are gonna place snow blocks. And on each side right here, we're going to place a dark oak button. And now we're gonna mark where our windows are going to go. So we're going to skip two blocks and place in two smooth quartz stairs. After that, we're gonna skip three blocks every time just placing in our two stairs and you should finish with a two block gap right there. Now, each of these windows is exactly the same. So I'll show you how to build one. Each side of the stairs, we do four bone blocks. We'll put two upside down stairs there, four dark oak fences and two dark oak buttons. And once you've built all four of those, just go ahead and plug up all the gaps with snow blocks. So go ahead and build that on both side walls. Now I want you to come around to the front of the build and starting right here, we're gonna place eight bone blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And on top of that, we're gonna place eight snow blocks. Then grab your dark oak buttons, we'll place one there. And then we'll place one every second block until we've got four in total. Now underneath the first two buttons there, we're gonna place bone block pillars all the way up. You can put a snow block right there. We'll put in four snow blocks. And then right here, one, two, three snow blocks. And just build that all the way to the top. Then we'll put a smooth quartz stair there with two dark oak fences. So that's how it looks. We're gonna build the exact same thing, poking out from this side. And then we'll build the exact same thing on the back wall as well. And once again, what I built here, I want you to copy to the opposite side of the building. So find the deep slate tile in the middle and we'll put a smooth quartz stair on top with an extra one each side. And then four bone blocks each side of that with three more right way upstairs in between. We'll put in six dark oak fences for our windows. Then grab snow blocks. We'll go one, two, three, then two and one. Same thing on this side, three, two, then one. And up the top, we'll place three snow blocks. Now grab some stone. We're gonna place two there and another two. And then in this gap here, we'll go one, two, three. We're just building it up to the same height as our snow. 
and then we'll do two and two. So we'll do that again on this side. So starting right here, four stone blocks, then in here, one, two, three, then two and two, and then we'll just go one, two there, one, two, and up the top, three with an extra one like that. Okay, come to the inside of the building and on top of these dark oak logs, we're going to add an extra five. Same thing on top of that one and we'll do the same on top of the stone blocks as well. So one, two, three, four, five. Now look in the same direction I'm looking on top of this log and this log only. We're going to place a stone block and we'll run dark oak along until we reach the snow. Then we'll put a stone block on the end. Against that stone block, we'll go one, two, three, dark oak with a stone block on the end of that. Now we'll go in the opposite direction. We're going to run our logs all the way over until we reach the snow. Then the same thing, stone block, then one, two, three, dark oak and a stone block. And then in this direction, we're just going to run our logs all the way along, connecting the two stone blocks. And staying with our dark oak, come along to this stone block and we'll go one, two, three. And we'll do the same thing where this pillar's coming up. One, two, three. Now where we've got our snow on the ground here, so we've got a line of it here and a line right there. We're just going to build this all the way up until we reach the log above. So go ahead and do that on both sides. Now starting on top of our sea lanterns, we're going to place three oak stairs and just behind that we're going to place three upside down and we're just going to continue doing that over and over until we reach the same height as our logs right here. So you can finish with three upside down and then just behind that we're going to put six oak slabs. Now switch to spruce slabs and we're just going to fill in this little area here every block except for the one right in the middle. Now above that block we're going to put a temporary block, come underneath, place a hopper against that, then you can break it, hold shift, we'll place an ochre frog light right there, and then surround that with oak trapdoors. And staying underneath your frog light, look at this window and on top of the stone we'll go one, two dark oak planks, and then one, two, three, four, five strip dark oak with a stone block on the end. And then just above our planks, we'll place six snow blocks. And we'll do the exact same thing over here. So two planks, then one, two, three, four, five dark oak with a stone on top and six snow blocks. Now we're going to come out this door over here and we'll build this first. We'll go one, two, three, strip dark oak. And then right here, we're going to build that up until we're level with that log. Then underneath the log, we'll go three snow blocks. Then we'll put upside down spruce stairs, spruce slab in the middle. And then on each side here, we are going to do spruce trap doors, just like that. And then we're going to walk through to this room here. And this side's going to be a little bit different. So starting next to this stone, we're going to place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine strip dark oak with a stone block on the end. And then you can just build a pillar up to connect to that stone. Then come back to this side. We'll put one, two, three ochre frog lights. They will have oak trap doors in front. And then just on the end of that, we're going to build another dark oak pillar. Then you can grab your spruce stairs, we'll place two upside down, spruce slab in the middle, and then each side we'll place our three spruce trapdoors. So that's how you should look. Then we'll come back into this room and we're just going to grab upside down spruce stairs and we're going to run them all the way around, just like this, finishing right there. And we're going to leave it here for today, guys. And I can guarantee that this will be a four-part tutorial series. At the end of next episode, we will finish building the castle. And then the fourth episode, we will finish furnishing the castle. So that'll be fun. Thanks for watching. I'm Cortez Arena, and I'll see you later.